This is the News at 10. Tobin was a protector, a provider. He was very compassionate and loving, and he was very professional in what he did. And he loved being a police officer. Treasure Valley community gathered in star tonight to mourn the life of Ada County Sheriff's Deputy Tobin Bolter, who was killed in the line of duty over the weekend. A lot of people showed up by the looks of it there at Hunter Creek Sports Park tonight to shine blue lights in support of the fallen deputy and the deputy who was hurt rushing to help. News Channel 7's Jude Binkley was there tonight. So Jude, how many people would you say showed up tonight? Brian, easily hundreds. And let me tell you, this candlelight vigil ended just about 15 minutes ago when all of these people gathered here in Star under a flag, of course, flying at half staff in honor of Deputy Tobin Bolter. Now you can see some footage of the vigil now. The thin blue line flags waved, tears flowed, and lights shined for this vigil. Now let me tell you, we learned a lot about Deputy Tobin Bolter. He had a family, two parents, a little sister, and his wife, Abby. We learned he was very committed, uh, a devout man of faith, we also learned that he always had a smile on his face. Ada County Sheriff Matt Clifford described Deputy Bolter's dedication and commitment to serving our communities. Go ahead and take a listen. He put himself between good and evil and kept all of you safe and made sure you can sleep at night. He made sure that you don't have to live in fear. He made sure that you have all of the freedoms that we enjoy here of going out and going to a park or going to the store, doing all these things that we take for granted. He's one of those guardians that allows us to live the kind of life that many of you moved here to have. So, And again, hundreds of people were here for this vigil to come out and honor Deputy Bolter and Deputy Denny. And many of the families here were in law enforcement or the families of law enforcement. A lot of people wanted to come out here and, and show support. Uh, you know, really honor law enforcement who do spend their time and sacrifice so much to serve our community. And we spoke with one couple about the importance of really coming together as a community to support our law enforcement. Take a listen. Show support and uh, love for our departments, those that serve us while we're at home, safe, knowing that there's men and women there to protect, serve. And I think that's just important that they know we care. Certainly a lot of people showing that they care tonight. It was a very emotional ceremony. And if you, if you couldn't make it to tonight's ceremony, there are several more going on throughout the week. There's going to be one in Middleton, which is the town that Deputy Bolter lived in. That is tomorrow at 9 at Foot Park. And then another vigil will be taking place up in Valley County. It's being put on by the Valley County Sheriff's Office in Cascade at their office. And that's going to be 9 o'clock Friday night. Brian, we'll go ahead and send it back to you. But again, there's a lot of other ways that uh, people in the community, families can support Deputy Bolter and Deputy Denny. And we do have a list of those on our website at ktvb.com. Go ahead and send it back to you. Yeah, a little bit of comfort in these uh, difficult times for the Ada County Sheriff's Office and all law enforcement in the area. Thanks, Jude.